This series of videos has been filmed in an IETF16949 certified supplier who is involved in the manufacture of a wide range of rivets used for automotive and non-automotive applications. They also design and manufacture equipment used in rivet insertion. The video shows extract of simulated IETF16949 audits focus on the organization's quality management system processes. Watch this video and see if the auditor is undertaking the audit effectively. As always, we welcome feedback and comments. So Dave, I'm going to move on now to auditing the forging process. Okay. The first thing I want to look at is how are the manning levels managed? Okay. So uh, at shift handover at six o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the afternoon, uh, the manning boards are on here, uh, yeah. used with magnets to assign individual operators to different machines. So we have magnets for one shift in white and for the other shift in green. Uh, the different coloured magnets are representative of machines that are run unmanned, yeah. but they uh, are regularly checked by operators working on other machines throughout the day. So the orange, just so I understand then, is a machine that's running but hasn't got an allocated operator to that machine? It's not to the machine while it's running. If it breaks down, someone will attend to it, but they'll also do first and last off checks on the product from those machines. Right, okay. And we'll follow that up then when we go. We'll actually have a look at the control over some of the manned and the unmanned machines yeah. uh, as we go through. Would these machines always be unmanned or does it change around? It will change around. It will depend what product's going through it, uh, how urgent certain product is. Uh, if we're doing machine changeovers, that's where manning is required on the machines. Uh, wire changeovers for the wire going into the machine has to be manned. Right, okay. And did you say the shift change is two o'clock today? Uh, two o'clock, yeah. So we run six till two uh, and two o'clock till ten o'clock at night. So what I'll try and do then, around maybe 1.50, we'll try and come here and listen to that shift change over yeah. then. Uh, okay. But thank you for explaining that. Yeah. Can we move on now to the monitoring of performance? Of course, yeah. So Dave, can you explain then for the forging process how the performance on a daily basis is monitored. So these are the production boards which we have for each area within the business uh, on rivet manufacturing. This one is particularly dedicated to forging. Yeah. We have what we call the SMQDC board. Uh, the team leader generally or the lead operator in his absence will go through each category. Safety being the first, yeah. If there been any safety issues on the process during the previous shifts, if if there is, it will be escalated and dealt with on a 3C. It will also be highlighted on a, a safety, health and environmental post box. Uh, so I see the last safety issue was about six months ago, according to, to in, Aug this. in August. Yeah. yeah. In August yeah. last year. And according yeah. to the 3C, that's all. That's been dealt with and closed out. Right, okay. Uh, morale, no problem. Morale, yeah, that's been uh, measured. Red or green? Green being fine. Red, if there's any issues. Yeah. What about quality then? The quality, that's uh, also monitored throughout every machine. Uh, they have daily history sheets where they record any scrap issues, any defects or any queries get escalated to myself as uh quality representative for the area yeah um that was also recorded on our quality management system right uh so any actions that need to be logged preventive actions for the future and and that is measured as first time right is it is that what the ftr that's correct yeah first right. time right yeah okay so generally the performance has been above your target for this year yeah which is good so um Delivery, I see more reds on the delivery. Delivery. What, what's the delivery metric for the forging process? Okay, so uh, production totals are predetermined at the start of the month, so we know what targets we're aiming to achieve. 
and when it goes red means we haven't met the target for that day yeah. like this for example uh, there can be various reasons why and that is usually logged on a 3c below but that is obviously being updated at the moment by the team leader so we'll follow that through with the team leader uh, there so just so i understand then this is not the delivery to the customer this is a delivery against the production schedule correct yeah right okay which will be set by our planning department yeah and i've got them on the audit schedule a little bit later okay. so that's great and the last one cost cost uh that is more related to how much overtime generally uh yeah. we need to hit these production figures as well so when we come to the weekend there are targets set for the weekend so it has been predetermined that we will need people in at the weekend to yeah. achieve those figures so am i right in saying for fortune you haven't got a dedicated weekend shift no okay no. that matches the information i got earlier okay yeah. yeah and then the days at the weekend would go red because that is because paid. we're using extra time it's paid as overtime yeah yeah so I'd like to now move to the forging process itself okay. and we're going to have a look at the setup of the process. Well, in this video, before the auditor starts the audit of the forging process, he is verifying the process of allocation of resources and monitoring performance. This relates to IETF 16949 requirement 8.5.1.7 production scheduling, which states the organization shall ensure that production is scheduled in order to meet customer order and demands, such as just in time, and is supported by an information system that permits access to production information at key stages of the process and is order driven. The organization shall include the relevant planning information during production scheduling, for example, customer orders, supplier on-time delivery performance, capacity, shared loading, lead time, infantry level, preventive maintenance and calibration. And also requirement 7.1.2 in ISO 9001 is relevant. And this states, the organization shall determine and provide the persons necessary for the effective implementation of the quality management system and the operation and control of its processes. The auditee explains the resource planning is done using a communication board in the work area and that some forging machines can run without allocated operators or an operator may be allocated to run several machines within the work area during the allocated shift. This definitely gives the opportunity to follow an audit trail to verify the process of setting up the forging machines and this relates to IETF requirement 8.5.1.3 job setup. Also, the auditor should use the control plan to understand the planned product or process checks that should be performed during forging and who does the checks for the machines where there is no operator allocated. The audit trail could also follow the actions taken when an unmanned machine has an issue and then how any non-conforming or suspect product is dealt with. To verify the performance of the forging process, the auditor then follows the audit trail to look at the relevant performance data, including safety, quality and delivery. It was noted there were several occasions the delivery to the production schedule, the target was not met. This gives an opportunity to follow audit trails to the corrective action taken. In this organization, the 3C system. Finally, when undertaking audits in production, auditors must sample the shift changeover as defined in IETF uh, 16949 requirement 9.2.2.3 manufacturing process audit. In this organization, there would be an opportunity to verify the handover process with the relevant personnel 
and also to question about the machines that were running without an allocated operator.